I'm editing right now and I lost all the audio from my first clip. Uh, I think I lost a few more clips later on. Well, I might see you then. But the first clip, really all it is, is me deciding do I want to do CFOP, which is what Mike Boyd did, or do I want to do the beginner method. CFOP is more advanced, lets you go faster once you learn it, but it's harder to learn. The beginner method is easier to learn, less algorithms, but they take longer, so you can't really get super fast, but you can definitely get under two minutes. So that's what I went for. Okay, enjoy the rest. Hopefully I won't see you again. This is as far as I can get so far. Not too bad for day one. I lost some more audio, as I'm sure you realize. Um, I was about an hour and a half into day one when my audio cut out. It took me two hours and 15 minutes to finally solve the cube, even with the tutorial right there in front of me. Um, so that got me a bit frustrated. I took a few days off and that just about catches you up to where I'm at. Oh, I can solve the cube with only a cheat sheet now. So that is what I'm trying to do. After three tries and a lot of help, 1536. First one since my two hour escapade. Mm. This is going to take a while. This was not fun. It was about an hour and a half. It was me basically going from knowing the algorithms, kind of, to the algorithms all just being muscle memory. Uh, this chopped my time down from 15 minutes down to about four-ish, three-ish minutes. And at this point, I, I kind of realized it's gonna happen soon. Like Two minutes is just right around the corner. Okay, sure, I lost the audio for the final video where I finally get under two minutes, but I mean, can we just really appreciate this music? This music's great. It's pounding. My camera's dying. Ugh. 158. Alright, another one down. Ugh. Minute 58. No, nothing wrong with a minute 58. I am perfectly proud of a minute 58. It took me 5 hours, 39 minutes, which is significantly shorter than Mike Boyd's, I think, 16 ish hours. But. Yeah, no, I gotta realize, like, he learned CFOP. 
that is different that's a different beast from what i learned sure i can do it in under two minutes but like if he wanted to he could get a lot better at cfop and get down under a minute easily under 30 seconds even um it'd take a little bit more practice but i don't have that opportunity like i'm just about tapped out from where i'm at i might be able to get like a minute 30 maybe a minute but that's just the difference so it took me five hours 39 minutes i'm proud of that that is perfectly fine to me um and just to show you hey I, it, it wasn't a fluke i have retained this information it is may 15th right now and i'm doing all this editing so i'm just going to take a break and try one of these real quick all right and let's go and that is it so look at that minute 29 this was all pretty fun um it was frustrating but it was fun to actually learn it especially towards the end like really cracking down on the times that part was almost enjoyable out of all of this the only thing that really frustrated me was messing up on the same thing over and over and the reason I kept messing up on the same thing over and over was the video that I would watch didn't have didn't cover this certain pattern in its video so what I'm gonna do to help you guys learn this I'm gonna make my own tutorial really I like I really just want to follow in Mike Boyd's footsteps he has Skillshare I believe and you know he has his Rubik's Cube tutorial on there I I'm gonna make my own the beginner method that is everything that I have I hope you learned something. You probably didn't, but if you watch the tutorial, maybe you will. I hope you enjoyed, more importantly, and it's been good having you.